Why do UX researchers complain to one another about their stakeholders? We usually complain to one another when we find a situation is frustrating and we're not sure what else we can do about it. When people have already encountered several experiences of trying to complain to the right people but failing, they usually learn that there's no point and then they point all their complaints just towards one another to vent rather than to actually get something done. So it's usually an indication that there's been some experiences of trying to complain to the right people but failing. Should researchers complain to their stakeholders or should they avoid complaining if it didn't work very well a few times? I believe people should always complain to these stakeholders, to the people that can actually do something about it. And it could be the earlier complaints didn't work, but that doesn't mean that the new ones won't. And if previous complaints didn't work, people really need to think about how they complain and how they voice their complaints and how to approach it in a way that might work. But otherwise, they're just going to remain frustrated and that's not going to make them any happier and it's not going to help their products either. So they really need to put their past failures aside and voice their complaints to their stakeholders and, and spend some time figuring out what's the best way to do that. Imagine a researcher who, who was asked to conduct yet another study after their recommendations from the previous study were not implemented. How should the researcher complain effectively to stakeholders? Well, I understand that's a very discouraging situation, but you have to try and figure out why the previous complaint didn't work. What are the issues that are important to the stakeholders? What are the matters that they tend to prioritize? And try and address your complaint in a way that targets those principles and those matters, because we all have priorities. If they're earlier recommendations weren't accepted, there were reasons for them, but they need to figure out what the reasons were and try to address those in how they voice their complaints and how they justify them in the following round. What is the complaint sandwich and how can UX practitioners use it? The complaint sandwich is a simple technique that makes any complaint more effective by sandwiching the complaint, the meat of the sandwich, between two positive statements the bread. And the idea there is that we naturally get defensive when we hear a complaint. So our natural response and that of the stakeholders is going to be to get defensive and already try to figure out why they don't have to accept the complaint even while the person is still voicing it. The complaint sandwich, because it starts positively and ends positively, allows the other person to take in what the complaint actually is and consider it on its actual merits. So it's a good technique for people to use when they are dealing with somebody who tends to be defensive or who tends to not accept the complaints in a general way. An example of a complaint sandwich will be, I understand you really want to keep costs down on this project, but if you really listen to our recommendations, we think they will make the product much more profitable for you because it will be a much more usable one and one that will be um, bought in a more widespread way and used in a more global way. So even though it might cost a little bit to implement these recommendations, we think it will really help your bottom line. So we'd like to tell you what our suggestions are. What is a complaint boomerang and how it might apply to UX researchers? Complaint boomerangs are when our complaints come back to bite us in the rear end because we voiced them in the wrong way or to the wrong person or we were too aggressive in doing so or we voiced our complaint to our boss's boss that then got back to our boss and they were very unhappy we went over their heads. So the idea is you really want to go through channels but you want to be effective in how you complain and again using the complaint sandwich is one of the best ways to avoid the boomerang because your complaint doesn't come across in that situation as angry or or resentful, it comes across as really a productive way, an effective way of just trying to make things better. And usually there are no boomerangs involved when the way you present the complaint is in the sandwich form. All right, these are all the questions I had for you. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much.